What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, your host here once again on the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, today we're gonna to take a look at the motherboard from our friends over at Biostar. This is the H61MU3. This is the H61 chipset by our friends over at Intel, and this is the B3 bug-free version of the board. As you guys remember, when the P67 chipset for Standing Bridge was first introduced, there was a bug on one of the SATA channels, so the board was recalled. So this board comes B3 bug-free, which means you don't have to call the Orca Man or the Exterminator to get rid of this bug. <laughs> I'm just kidding around, but hey. Anyways, today we're gonna to do the unboxing. This motherboard comes in the market at about $89, and it's geared for those people who want an all-in-one solution for basically a low entry-level computer. Somebody who just surfs the net, types their email, does stuff like that. It's not meant for the gamer, it's not meant for any high intense programming or anything else, but if you're looking for a motherboard that's cheap, very entry-level, when I say cheap, I just mean cheap in price, not cheaply made, I just wanna clarify there. This is for somebody who's looking for a low-cost, all-in-one solution. So now let's go ahead and open up this little gem from our friends over at Biostar. So here we see the box itself. I'll show you the front of the box. Then I'll just go ahead for you diehard fans and I'll show you guys the back of the box which shows all the little special features and stuff they have on it. Flip back once more. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap on it. We're going to see right off the bat that all the accessories and everything are located right on top. Not a lot comes in this because like I said it's a pretty simple entry level thing but we get the rear I.O. I'm going to go ahead and set that out here so you guys can see it. We have the user's manual and the drivers, those are all fine for you guys to install your stuff. It comes with two SATA cables, and then it comes with a little motherboard that's not only the manual, but it's also an installation guide. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to open it up here, let you guys see a little bit of it. But it actually is pretty cool. It's a couple things in one. On one side, it's got the basic stuff that tells you about what's going on with the board. And then I'm going to flip it around. The other one actually shows the board and all the stuff that's on it. All the features and so such. So it's pretty good. It's actually all very visual. I kind of like it. Not bad. Not many companies are doing that. It's usually just one or the other. This one's kind of combined. So that's all the stuff that's the accessories. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Then we're going to move on to the motherboard. Now, this motherboard is Mini ITX. It's very, very small. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here. Now the motherboard supports four gigabytes per channel of DDR3 memory. It supports the i7, i3, and i5 second generation Sandy P Bridge CPUs. This is in the 1155 socket. Now the one thing might be a drag to some people is the lack of amount of PCI slots. Now there's only a single PCI E slot, and there's two standard PCI slots, and then a 1X PCI slot. That might be daunting to some people looking to build something, but like I said, entry level people are not gonna want very much to go, and Another thing is the motherboard has onboard graphics, which we'll get to just in a second. So you guys can see that. It's very, very small. There are four SATA connectors right here, right by where the power is located. Your single 24 power pin connector there. Flip the board back around again so you guys get another good view of it. Flip it around, let you guys see the back of it. Not much there, but at least you guys can see it. Then we're going to go talk about the rear I.O. The rear I.O. is really nice. It's kind of hard for me to talk to you guys and look at it at the same time. But basically, you have all of your HDMI, DVI, and standard VGA connections. You've got all your 7.1 audio. You've got some USB 3.0 ports, a single port for your LAN connection. And you do have a single old school little keyboard port right here, along with a couple standard USB ports. So it's all in all pretty good. You've got your HDMI here, like I said, your DVI, and then your standard VGA. So all the things are decked out from there. It supports full things for HDMI and all your videos. So it works out pretty good. So this is basically everything that comes in this box. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the new Biostar H61 MU3.